uh, Jack Willem that turns the teal, the back end teal after uh, the use of the Renegades. Um, the, how mature are you as a player this year, yeah, returning to Brisbane compared to where you were when you left? Yeah, it's uh, really exciting to be back. Um, it feels like I put on the jersey for the first time uh, not that long ago for the Heat, so three years has flown by. And um, fortunately, I've had, had some good success down at the Renegades um, with semi final and a win, being involved in that. Um, and hopefully, looking forward to bringing that experience, um, playing different conditions, playing different players, and um, feeling really confident going into um, the BBL season. As an all-rounder, it's really tough because you've got to be trying to be a, a hold your spot in both formats, batting and bowling. Where have you come along for quickest, do you think? What's, what's been the area of your game that you've, you've been happy with? I think it's the, the, the biggest thing, battling, batting middle to lower order has probably been adapting to the match situations. So I'd like to say that I've, I've learnt a lot, um, especially playing with some of the players at, like Bravo um, and many of the Nabby, those sort of guys who have come in from internationals for the Renegades. And, I've, I've, I've loved being around those sort of guys and watching them play and um, hoping that you know I can emulate their their, their style of um, finishing games and um, you know being being in control of the death bowling so um, yeah I'm pretty pretty excited to bring that back both, both big challenges in their lower order batting and in death bowling so obviously it's uh, you're not going to be uh, out of the spotlight are you yeah, and that's what makes it so much fun to be a part of the highs and lows of T20 cricket um, and just be able to, you know, ride that, I guess. So I'll, I'm really excited to be back playing at Gabba. It's so loud there and um, a great place to play. Yeah, you were surrounded by some incredibly experienced death bowlers at Renegades. How do you think your experience bowling, particularly the death, has gone from last time you were in Chile to now? Uh, I think early on in my career, probably managing my emotions, um, especially in the big games, has been something that I've been really trying to work on, especially batting and bowling. And um, watching those guys go about their, their planning um, and executing skills under pressure and realising that it's just a game at the end of the day and sometimes you get hit for six, sometimes it's going to go your way. Um, so I've, I've taken a lot out of um, being around you know, the Richardsons, the Nabbies, the Bravos um, and yeah, looking forward to bringing that back home. Tommy Cooper's joining the Heat and play, played a bit with Dan at the mm. Renegades and one of the things that Darren Lehman said about him that it was always an impressive or a real asset was his game management or his way he could perform, I guess, whatever the situation of the game is. Is that something that, you know, that the BBL teams now are really, really looking for? People who can manage the situation? Yeah, I think um, those middle order players like Coops um, that bring experience and know how to win games uh, are really vital to winning teams and winning tournaments. Um, Obviously, being having to you know, adapt to the game situation and, and respond effectively is really important. Um, Coops hits the ball 360 to the ground. I, I love batting with him, um, and I think it's a, a, a great uh, great thing to have him on board. The uh, Heat, of course, had a half a chance of snatching a final spot, but fell at the hands of the Renegades at the end of last season. Um, it, was, it would have been an interesting experience for you, wouldn't it, seeing guys that you've sort of spent a lot of time with, sort of, with the Queensland set up, you know, getting close but falling over, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, you know, unfortunate for them to go down in the last game, not to get to get through, but, um, yeah, look, I love playing against my mates. Um, I enjoy playing with my mates, so it's kind of good to be back playing with those guys who we work with in the pre-season with the Bulls. Um, so it's good. It's still the same kind of core of players, so... Um, that'll be that'll be great to kind of because you know we, we know each other's games inside out so I think that will that will be really really good. Yeah, Heat fans and particular media around Brisbane have been crying out for an all-rounder for many seasons now. Uh, it comes might come with a bit of expectation signing as an all-rounder. How are you going to manage that expectation? To be honest, I've, I think I've prepared really well the last couple of years in terms of um, and improving my T20 game and my skills. So. Look, to be honest, I'm just looking forward to getting out there and playing and try and you know get in those, get into the matches and be competitive. I think that's all you can ask for from from an all-rounder and adapt to the adapt to the game conditions and and the scenarios. And you know, um, T20 can be such an up and down game, but to be be able to you know hopefully win more than lose that'd be the the aim anyway. And get into a finals. Coming up, you've got a, had a big pre, big off season and pre season here in, in Brisbane and uh, back playing Premier Cricket now. You're over a bit of a hamstring niggle. Um, 
physically how you're feeling ready to, to I guess, get ready for some, a shield competition will be the first thing on your radar by the sound of it. Yeah, it's been a different pre-season, that's for sure. Um, body's feeling good now. I've had a bit of hamstring niggle at the start of the year, kind of up in the workload, but feeling good now and, and got a couple of weeks you know, of grade cricket and trained head into the, the shield bubble. So I'm really excited to get some really competitive cricket back. Um, because it's you know had been a big season of anticipation you know not knowing what's going on obviously season's been put back a little bit so um, I'm feeling really confident going into the year um, and yeah I just want to get out there and play some competitive cricket. And the anticipation of being in, in bubbles if I can say that bubble from, from uh, hubs and bubbles is it okay you're, you're mentally ready for that sort of thing you think? Yeah I think we've got a good group of players and staff so um, you know a lot of the, the core players have spent a lot of time together as is um, hopefully you know Adelaide Adelaide's, uh, you know, restrictions are, uh, you know, in a good place at the moment, and yeah, I think I think we'll be okay. Um, fortunately, there's the ACA working closely with us with family access and things like that, so um, I've no doubt that it'll be okay. Um, yeah, it'd be great to get out there. Um, watching your ball team match play for the heat of the last few years, packed gather crowd in front of friends and family, is it great to be back? playing under the lights, fireworks together? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think a lot of my family are pretty excited. I have to get a flight down to Melbourne to watch me play. So um, they're, they're lining up to buy membership tickets, I think. So um, yeah, they're really excited. Uh, it'd be great to obviously get out for plenty of home matches this year. It'd be nice. Um, yeah, it's a great place to play. I enjoy it. The, the track suits me and my, my game, I, I feel. So yeah, it should be really